Hey everybody, it's Harry here. Welcome back to Minecraft Survival. Now, I have a cold and I am struggling to talk through most of this, so I hope you enjoy it and it's not too bad for you. Everybody hit that subscribe, like and share this video and I'll see you all in the video. Alright, so we need to actually get an enchanting table sorted. So I have the things for it. So let's create the enchanting table and I'm going to put it over into the village the reason i'm doing this is because when you think about it like the miners are going to need to get these amazing tools and have an enchanter close by to like say a blacksmith or something is going to be really really good oh is it it's coming night time let's get back to bed yeah i set up these lamp posts this is where the the path's going to run up and there's going to be a, a tunnel through there I, actually i might might not do the tunnel I might just do a steep pathway road i set up this nether portal as well and we have all this and then i need to go and find a lot more diamonds all right so i'm going to put it here just to begin with I have a load of bookshelves and we're going to put this around like this. And I think that is maximum. No. Do I really need the ones around the outside? I do. Oh, okay. Right, so level 30. It is an unbreaking 3. But I don't have the level requirements for them. So we have this here. This is ready to go now. We can go in and get some enchanting stuff done. I've got a grindstone for any enchantments we don't want. But now I need levels. I don't know whether to be extremely excited, scared or feel extremely lucky. I just went into the nether to go and mine some quartz. And that happened. Yeah, I literally, I didn't mean this. I done this. Um, and it is stupidly dangerous, especially with this guy over here. Uh, there's a couple over there as well. But oh my gosh, I am getting out of here as quickly as possible so i was going to use the nether portal to get quartz to get to the 30 levels but i think that's out the window now i just realized that i am actually going to need to go into the nether and find some soul sand but whether we're using that one or not i have no idea the reason that i do need the soul sand is because i found this yeah, I've already cleared the chest out, but we have a zombie spawner, which is good for levels. So I need to get that sorted, and soul sand is a must for bubble elevators and stuff. And I also need kelp. So I think that's the plan today, soul sand and kelp. Right, let's do this, and hopefully we don't die. But soul sand is a must at the moment. And I think this way is going to be the worst of them all. Oh, I didn't get a first hit. Right, did the, the dog come through? No, we still need a name for the dog. I've had a good few names, but nothing I feel is amazing this is very dangerous i don't have any building blocks either because i am an idiot another problem i've got is i don't have any gold oh but that's fine oh i hear a ghast right so i've got a load of blocks what are you doing i love this animation stuff <gasps> Oh. oh yeah that was skillful 
But jeez, that scared the living daylights out of me. Right, so we've got a load of soul sand here. That's fine. I only need a few bits. But that's given us access to that kind of style of biome. Ah, uh, hi. Yeah, so if we do want to get like the Wither Skeleton farm. Oh god, there's the Wither Skeleton now. Yeah, if we want to get that set up, the Soul Sand Valley is the best one for it. I see you. I know I see you. Don't worry. You coming? Oh, for the love of everything, do not show up, gas. Just stay wherever you are. Please. Stay where you are. Oh, I just spotted it. Uh huh. That was lucky. Right. Next part is kelp. Target acquired. Kelp broken. And it's just a case of collecting it now. And heading back. And I think that's one of the most annoying things about kelp is that it is in an ocean biome only. I mean, some rivers might have been nice to have it in. And this, this is why I love soul sand and kelp. This thing is just... It's so awesome. I can go from the very bottom of the world to the top of the world in seconds. It is just so good. Ta-da. And now I can go up and down this mine shaft as simple as possible. But that's not what we need now. Now we need some experience. So I need to get down and start hollowing out that um, zombie spawner. So it's semi working. Um, there just seems to be a problem with this bit. Uh, they don't seem to want to go through. That might just be a case that I need to drop this down so it's a faster current. So it pushes them straight into it, sort of thing. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, it's just more of a nuisance than anything. So it is a case of quickly. getting in there and changing it. Yeah, so I put this little channel in here and it sort of filters them through onto a half slab, which then steps them up onto the bubble column and come over here for a bit of uh, slaying. So I can just come in here. Now, they usually are one hit, but obviously with those that have got armor, they're not so much. But, it is a quick and easy grind for some levels at the start. Although I probably will need to try and fix this. Maybe I need to extend it out this way. Just so that it doesn't back up with this. But that is for another time. I need to go and get my kid from school at the moment. So 
I will let this run for a bit and hopefully we'll get a lot of zombies just sitting there waiting for me coming back. Okay, so I've done some more leveling up. We're at level 48, turned the shaders on, got these ones on and I'm loving the clouds on it and the water is looking fantastic. But yeah, still let me know down below if you prefer shaders or not. Right, let's take a wee look and see what we can get on this pickaxe. <sighs> hopefully it's fortune. It's fortune too. Uh, that's better than nothing. So I can go and mine up all these diamonds and get some more diamonds and go and enchant some more. Okay, there's 29 diamond blocks here. So let's see how many diamonds we get in total. All right, we got 52. That's all right. That will allow us to get all the tools, get armor, and we still have levels left over for enchanting. Right, where is my sticks? I've got some wood here. Oh, I've got some torches here. I need them. Right, so we need a sword, we need an axe, and we need a shovel. And then we also need a second diamond pickaxe to try and get better fortune. And, oh, we need some lapis. All right, let's see what we get. Silk touch, no thank you. We've got knock back to a sharpness four. That's all right. Oh, perfect. Because I don't need efficiency on this one. I'll actually just need the fortune. That's brilliant. Right, so you just done unbreaking. Blast protection four is all right. That's really good. Uh, nice. Uh, so we get a good sword. And that's really it. So we're all kitted out now. And it's just a case that I need to go mine get more diamonds and decide where I'm going from here. Yep, but that's it. That's all I've got time for in this video. I am three subscribers away from getting 400. So if you are this far and you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell just so you get notified when new episodes come out. Hit like if you enjoyed and share if you want. But also, tell me about the shadows. If you like them, or not. See you on the next one. Bye.